Hey everybody, Rob Maurer here, and this will be a quick audio episode. There's not a whole lot of Tesla news today, and then secondarily to that, I did spend an hour in discussion with Dave Lee over on his channel on YouTube. So plenty of discussion out there from me for today for people to listen to. Definitely recommend people checking that out, and the link for that will be in the show notes. Tesla stock on the day today did finish down about 8%. That compared to the Nasdaq down about 3.5%. No real specific individual news today for Tesla, so I think just a larger degree of movement compared to the macro environment. First thing today, I wanted to point out and also give a bit of a summary on a presentation that was made by Andre Karpathy, Tesla's head of AI, at a scaled machine learning conference back in February that was just posted on YouTube yesterday. Link for this will be in the show notes as well. I think these are always worth listening to, some of the stuff we had heard before, but always interesting to get a bit of a peek behind the scenes at what they're working on there on the Autopilot team. Karpathy started off sharing some statistics for Autopilot. Tesla has done about three billion miles on autopilot, 1 billion of which have been on Navigate on autopilot, which has successfully completed 200,000 lane changes. And then for Smart Summon, they have had 1.2 million uses of Smart Summon. For the rest of the presentation, I think two major things stuck out to me. Carpathy spent a lot of time discussing image recognition and specifically worked through the example with stop signs, saying that, yeah, it might be easy to recognize a stop sign, but there are so many different ways that a stop sign can occur in the natural driving environment. And he spent literally two minutes, 120 seconds straight, just explaining different ways that stop signs can occur. Kind of fun to actually see him walk through all those different examples. Two that I think exemplified the point well. The first was the example of inactive or active state stop signs. Meaning, for example, you may have a construction worker holding a stop sign, but holding it just by their side because they're not actively using it at that moment. So the stop sign is actually appearing upside down. That is an inactive stop sign. You wouldn't want to actually stop for that. And then another example that he used was an occluded stop sign, so a stop sign that is partially obscured by trees or by another car, school bus, whatever the case may be. And then he talked about how Tesla solves problems like that by building a detector for that specific occurrence. Then they can push that detector out to the fleet, layer that on top of the network to build a database of examples of similar occurrences to what they build in the detector. The fleet collects those images, sends those back, Tesla sorts through them, and uses the correct ones to train the network on that specific category they were detecting for, which Carpathy said, quote, this is the bread and butter of how we actually get any of these tasks to work, just accumulating these large data sets and the full tail of that distribution, end quote. I'm sure that process has been discussed before, but it really just emphasizes and makes it clear how important that massive scale of data collection that Tesla's fleet allows for really is. I mean, one of the stop sign examples that Andre gave was a stop sign that was at a fork in the road, and underneath the stop sign it said, right turn, keep moving. So you wouldn't actually want the vehicle to stop at that stop sign unless you were going straight on this fork rather than turning right. Obviously, this would be a pretty rare occurrence. It would be pretty difficult, I would have to imagine, to train a network on something as specific as that without sort of this detector functionality acquiring more examples to be used in that training. So that part to me was interesting, particularly as an investor. And then the second piece, which we actually have talked about before, was their ongoing operation vacation which is basically taking as much of this process of training the network as possible and automating out as much of that as they can so that they can actually reduce the latency between the sort of recognition of a new feature being required and the implementation of that feature into the software. Again, definitely worth checking that video out. And if you see anything else that is noteworthy, let me know in the comments. Other than that, just a couple of quick Tesla headlines here. First is that Tesla has updated their advertising for the performance version of the Model S to be a 2.30 to 60 rather than the 2.4 they had previously advertised. Unclear if this is actually any change to the vehicle. My suspicion is that it is not just a change in how they are marketing it, but we'll keep an eye out for any news on that. And then we also have Green the Only on Twitter reporting on a difference in the Model Y computer hardware versus the Model 3. Apparently the link between Autopilot and Infotainment Center has been upgraded from 100 megabits per second to one gigabit. But the most upvoted comment on this thread on Reddit is from user NetBrown. He says he's been a network engineer for 20 years in IT and that this is most likely a matter of cost savings. So probably nothing too exciting to read into there. That's about it for Tesla stuff. Maybe a quick hit on macro sales. Home sales, existing home sales in the US for March were down 8.5%. And importantly, that is a lagging indicator. Chief economist at Realtor.com, Danielle Hale, said, quote, March's data reflects buyer and seller agreements reached in January and February before the coronavirus was on the radar for most of the U.S., end quote. 
That'll do it for today. Again, don't forget to check out that interview with Dave Lee on investing. Make sure you're subscribed, signed up for notifications, and following me on Twitter at Tesla Podcast. I'll see you tomorrow for the Wednesday, April 22nd episode of Tesla Daily. Thank you.